Next, Anthony Ramos pays tribute to the co-creators of Hamilton. And later... Welcome back to the Kennedy Center Honors. Are you having fun? And now, from the original cast of Hamilton, please welcome Anthony Ramos. I was in rehearsal for a show when the casting director told me about a project, the Hamilton mixtape. The music and the concept were unlike anything I've ever heard before. But I was committed to this other show and couldn't get involved. Well, the show I was in got canceled during previews. So uh, suddenly your boy was out of a job. <laughs> um, but uh, thankfully, uh, I got the call a couple hours later. I was hired for the workshop of the mixtape project. It was an inventive creation that used rap, R&B, and pop to tell the story of Alexander Hamilton's rise from orphan to the architect of our nation's financial system. I mean, hashtag started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> you know? uh, I mean, the project became a phenomenon. It's a story about America then, told by America now. The cast is inclusive, using actors of different races to play the founders of our nation. Now that is revolutionary. I remember the first day Lynn brought the opening number of the show to me, Alexander Hamilton. And, you know, at the time, it wasn't a musical. It was probably going to be a mixtape album at that time, but it also could have just been a song that he had written. The White House called and said, we're doing an evening of poetry and spoken word. If you have anything on the American experience, that would be great. I said, I got a hot 16 about Hamilton. <laughs> How does a bastard orphan son of a whore and a Scotsman dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot? I mean, it was very apparent to me that even if it was an album, that it could belong and live on stage. My performance went viral, and we were sort of off to the races after that. It's a little bit like George Washington getting his cabinet together. He goes, all right, who can do these jobs? Who do I know that are the best? One of the blessings of this team is we trust each other's ideas, and it's inspiring to have partners that basically say, be fearless with me. I go, here's what I've written, and then we pull it apart and we put it back together again. I, I don't want to lose the da 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 okay. I, okay. That's worth saving to me. So does that mean starting and not? Not starting. Right. 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 What Lynn writes and Alex arranges works for me choreographically. We're reaching out as if we're gesturing to all those people over there, all those people over there. Then we lean hand to heart, so it comes up almost like a pledge of allegiance. Just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, I'm hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Andy Blankenbuehler is a mathematician <laughs> in the sense that uh, he thinks like an orchestrator. It's just, he is just art in motion. Tom McHale is just the leader. He's the coach. He is the ear that listens and hears it all, the one who sees it all. Extend the rise-ups at the end. It did feel like we got out too soon. And, and we could stay in rise-up land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We gonna rise our way, time to take a shot. We gonna rise our way, time to take a shot. We gonna rise up, rise up. It's time to take a shot. Rise up, rise up. It's time to take a shot. What I wanted to try to do was remove any of the black and white nostalgia, sepia tone, and make this feel vital and vibrant. When you have the collaborators I'm working with who have 12 ideas to every one of mine, they just make your work better. And now, from our original cast, please welcome the incredible Renee Elise Goldsberry, Jasmine Cephas Jones, and Philippa Sue, the Schuyler sisters. Sundown. Daddy doesn't need to know. 
Christopher Jackson perform, plus Whoopi Goldberg, Amanda Seyfried, and more. The Kennedy Center Honors, only CBS. The Kennedy Center Honors will continue, only CBS. I am so thrilled that my creative friends from Hamilton are being honored tonight. Hamilton turned the conventions of musical theater upside down, forever changing the look and sound of Broadway. Perhaps most importantly, this beautiful piece of art reaches beyond the form, inspiring young people to embrace the experience of live theater. I saw the off-Broadway version of Hamilton, and it was simply, as I tell everybody, the best piece of art in any form that I have ever seen in my life. They call it the Hamilton Effect, born of a phenomenon that reimagined our history and reinvented musical theater. Hamilton has infiltrated every corner of our social media and culture. How does a bastard orphan, son of a whore, and a Colombian dropped in the middle? Oh, no, don't do this thing. I am not thrown away, my mom! It's a masterpiece that inspires endless possibilities, like a monthly streaming of musicians putting their own spin on Hamilton's score. But perhaps its greatest impact is felt by hundreds of thousands of American students by way of Eduham, an educational program in which students follow up classroom lessons by writing and performing their versions of history. It doesn't matter where you come from, it matters where you go. I think that's the very essence of, like, the American dream. I relate to them, like, they look like me and my classmates. Hamilton is teaching new generations who we were, while reminding all of us who we can become. And now, joined by the New Works Voices of America Youth Choir, please welcome Christopher Jackson, Alex Lacamoire, and Lynn Manuel Miranda. Mr. President, you asked to see me. I know you're busy. What do you need, sir? Sir. I want to give you a word of warning. Sir, I don't know what you heard, but whatever it is, Jefferson started it. 
Thomas Jefferson resigned this morning. You're kidding. I need a favor. Whatever you say, sir, Jefferson will pay for his behavior. Shh. Talk. Less. I'll use the press, I'll write under a pseudonym You'll see what I can do to him I need you to draft an address Yes, he resigned, you can finally speak your mind Oh, no. he's stepping down so he can run for president <laughs> Good luck defeating you, sir I'm stepping down, I'm not running for president Sorry, what? One last time Relax, have a drink with me One last time Let's take a break tonight and then we'll teach them how to say goodbye, to say goodbye, you and I. No, sir, I why? I want to talk about neutrality. Sir, with Britain and France on the verge of war, is this the best I time? I want to warn against partisan fighting. But pick up a pen, start writing. I want to talk about what I have learned, the hard-won wisdom I have earned. As far as the people are concerned, you have to serve. You could continue to serve. No, one last time, the people will hear from me one last time. And if we get this right, we're going to teach them how to say goodbye. Mr. President, they will say you're weak. No, they will see we're strong. Your position is so unique. So I'll use it to move them along. Why do you have to say goodbye? If I say goodbye, the nation learns to move on. It outlives me when I'm gone. Like the scripture says, everyone shall sit under their own vine. And victory, and no one shall make them afraid. They'll be safe in the nation we've made. I want to sit under my own vine and victory, a moment alone in the shade. At home, in this nation we've made, one last time. One last time Though in reviewing the incidents of my administration I am unconscious of intentional error I'm nevertheless too sensible of my defects Not to think it probable That I may have committed many errors I shall also carry with me the hope That my country will view them with indulgence and that after 45 years of my life dedicated to its service with an upright zeal, the faults of incompetent ability will be consigned to oblivion, as I myself must soon be to the mansions of my rest. I anticipate with pleasing expectation that retreat in which I promise myself to realize the sweet enjoyment of partaking in the midst of my fellow citizens, the benign influence of good laws under a free government, the ever favorite object of my heart, and the happy reward, as I trust, of our mutual cares, labors, and dangers. One last time. Teach them how to say goodbye. George Washington's going home.
Next, Paul Simon, Angelique Kijo, and our tribute to Philip Glass. The Kennedy Center Honors, only CBS. And now...